welcome everybody here in you or in Twitch chat. There we go. And everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. There we go. That's how that works. For some Grixis control. Looks like Hawkeye wanted to get up. Um but uh oh, hey, welcome back, Hawkeye. Okay. Bye. Anyway, this is our newest uh, deck here in Mythic that we're going to try out. Um, I've been playing a little bit of, of Grixis here off stream, and this is where I'm at. Um, you know, a as you all know from the beginning of the format, I've been trying to make a Nicol Bolas deck work, and I've been trying a whole lot of different cards and everything. The format's always like kind of changing, and when you're playing a reactive deck, especially a very reactive heavy deck like this, uh, you need to be changing the cards quite a bit. Last few times I've been playing Grixis, I've been playing Thief of Sanity, as you all know, and now I'm kind of completely off of Thief of Sanity. <laughs> Basically, uh, it's it's always, it's you know, it is very vulnerable, of course, but with little Teferi around everywhere and just bouncing it, and it doesn't help you hit your land drops. I was struggling hitting land drops. So I'm going towards Disinformation Campaign again. So we got Campaigns and Discoveries. The discovery helps you hit land drops. Campaign helps you hit land drops. And I think that like sweepers are really good right now. There's tons of mana creatures around, so I really like Cry of the Carnarium and Ritual of Soot. And so if I'm playing Cry of the Carnarium and Ritual of Soot, I don't really want to be playing Thief of Sanity kind of thing. So basically, I think just sweepers and attack their hand and hit land drops is the better option than Thief. So that's where I'm at right now. Um... We got one rampage in here because of all the planeswalkers. I want an extra, like, you know, make them sack a planeswalker, like a planeswalker removal spell for two mana there in the main deck. See, sideboard, I got some elder spells. Um, only going down, I've gone down to one Ascanta. Again, like, little Teferi's made Ascanta a little worse. Um, ooh, some baked bread rolls. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I haven't I haven't made a bolus, a nickel bolus, and a little Jace Jace Cunning Castaway deck yet. I definitely want to make one of those. Haven't made one of those yet. Haven't gotten to to that yet. Anyway, uh, I do have an Ugin in the main deck here with with the twenty six lands and the ability to hit land drops. Then we're going with the Ugin that can take out some enchantments for us and also win some games. Um, but of course, nickel bolus Dragon God's awesome. I'm not sure if like the first Kefnet's better than the fourth Ravager or. Um, honestly, I'm honestly not sure if we even need either of these four drops, really. It could just be that we should just be playing even more, like, sweepers, and then, like, like you know, like an extra Ritual of Soot or an extra Cry of the Carnarium, or maybe both, maybe three of each, and then, like, another Enter the God Eternals and another Nicol Bolas Dragon God, or, like, a fourth Dragon God and, like, a se second uh, Ugin or a Liliana. You know, maybe you just go complete Planeswalker heavy and just not even play these creatures, but for, for right now, I still like them. They really help out your aggro matchup. These creatures do. Anyway, War Boss. I'm, I'm a big fan of War Boss with the little Teferis running around. Um, really like this card these days. Uh, I like this a whole lot against like the Jeskai Super Friends deck too, where I don't really like Thief of Sanity. So we're going War Boss instead of Thief of Sanity. And that's what we got. So let's give this a try. Yes, one Ascanta I think is absolutely worth the slot. I would not want to play zero. Uh, the first Ascanta is just... Because Ascanta is just an incredibly powerful card, and I think that, that having having one in your deck is, is certainly good. It's just I don't... I'm not on two right now, but I could see maybe playing the second instead of, like, these things. You know, play a second Ascanta, another Nicol Bolas, another, like, Ritual of Soot, instead of, like, these, and then, like, a six Mana Planeswalker. But maybe not also. I don't know. This is where I'm at right now. give it a try so ban arc bow was awesome i'm kind of looking for a deck looking for like what deck i want to play in the mythic qualifier tournament mythic championship qualifier tournament this weekend the ban arc bow deck was awesome we went 5-1 there and we were pretty unlucky in our loss honestly it just felt really impressive let's see how good old grixis cards feel yeah, I had the earlier stream today. Yeah, Ban Arcbow had a lot of success. Yeah, Hawkeye's purring real hard.
He likes my microphone. Rubble, rubble belt rioters. So basically, I don't want all of their cards to have haste. All their cards having haste is kind of annoying. Honestly, I didn't even look at that card very much. <clears throat> Honestly, I just saw it was three mana with haste. Like this card, I, I just saw three mana haste. And I just assumed it was going to be just like a 3-3. Three, three. I didn't even read this or look at this. I took the rhythm. And so then it was just an 0-4. Oh, oh, an oh I was like, whoa, never mind. Oh man, that's a tough choice there, Mascalar. That's a tough choice. So you're saying Game of Thrones is on at 2 a.m. your time and you have to be up for school at 7.30. So do you stay up? And watch it because if, if you stay up and watch it if it starts at 2 then it's like you're going then it's gonna be done at like 3 30 and then your mind's gonna be it's gonna be some kind of sweet ending where your mind's gonna be racing you're not gonna get to sleep till like at least 4 and if you have to be up at 7 30 that's got to be kind of tough well we may lose this Oh, that's a good... Oh, maybe you just, just go to bed early and then wake up. That's a good idea. Wake up at like 6. That's that's the best idea. Go to bed early, wake up at 6. So yeah, basically like go to bed like now or so. And then, you know, whenever you wake up, you know, don't look at... Like, you know, obviously don't look at your phone for any kind of spoilers or anything. And then just like watch it at like 6 instead of... Oh, uh, your wife's cooking food for you. Ugh. Need to have this planned out. Another time, Planeswalk. I outsmarted you eons ago. Eons ago. Let's have the Bedevil be able to protect Nicol Bolas with it. You should really fix the bug with Bolas how um I will return. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. How Bolas yells no whenever the opponents uh, card gets exiled and not whenever it dies. So green, red creatures. I want contempt. I want enter the God Eternals. I think I'm going to take out Cry of the Carnariums. Call it a day. Looks good.
certainly hoping my opponent doesn't have Nullhide Ferox. I'm just going to try to dodge Ferox here. <laughs> Nicovolus is just emphasizing that they can't use that card anymore, and he's strong. He's just so passionate about exiling the card. <laughs> Well, okay. Hopefully, Ritual of Soot kills a bunch of things. No land where off is really good for us. Those will do. Masklar, you don't need a you don't need to post spoilers. dead. These creatures are killing me. I guess I could have just bedeviled that harpooner. I thought they could just play, you know, play a different creature. So we're pretty dead. Ooh, that one's not going to quite kill us yet. All right. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, it's a s huge spoiler. That is the biggest of spoilers. As in, the back of a motorized vehicle. Spoiler. What's up with these one-landers? I don't like them. I don't like these one-landers one bit. That was weird. All right, I'm going to try, this is pretty greedy, but I'm going to, I'm going to try just moment of craving this turn. Sweet. So that I could have disinformation campaign on a clear battlefield the, the next turn. And then I can even pick it back up with Thought Erasure. That worked out perfectly. That was like, a, that was the line against Carl Harpooner. If they would have played like the the two the two two with riot, but given it a counter, made it a three three, it would have felt real bad. It's a <clears throat> good card, disinformation campaign taken out of Sarkin. We'll take that. Joe with the subs. What's up, Joe Gabe's? Thanks for that support there, Joe. Enjoy all the awesome emotes and everything. Thanks for helping me keep keep doing what I do here. Step number eight on the day. Thank you very much. Do they keep a two lander and they're not happy they don't have another or do they just disconnect by accident? And Hyro! Also joining in. Let's get some more hype boats in here. Welcome, Hyro. Thank you kindly. There's Snow Basics in Modern Horizons? I didn't know that. That makes sense. They hadn't reprinted Snow Basics in forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever, ever? 
ever. Probably ditch the coil. Yes, please give me that other Enter the God Eternals. So do they have forest plus... Like, so they have the Biogenic so do they have forest? Okay, they have forest. So now we'll... God Eternals the ooze. <laughs> Spark Double, Oketra, Llanowar Elf. Wow. Spark Double, Oketra, then play Llanowar Elf. Yeah, that is... That's a power move right there. I guess I could have campaigned and got rid of their last card and then bedeviled. But I like having this 4-4 out here. Card's not very scary. That's a combo right there. Make makes that thing an eight four. That's a combo. That's cool. No Puskarug. Hmm. So what is it? Ooze is the best thing. Sarkin. Sarkin's cool. I think I want to... What else you got over here? Four lands? Dang, I wish I would've just left them the four lands. Anyway, I was gonna say, I think I wanted to just clear the battlefield up a little bit more before. Yeah, obviously it's a Nissa now. <clears throat> they had four lands on top that I just got rid of. I will protect the virtue of this world. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Yeah, I liked Spark Double. You know, I liked that first copy of Spark Double in that Bant deck that we're playing today. Because if you think about every single, every single other card in the deck is a target, right? Like, there's no besides the lands, like nothing else. I must seek comfort in the land. There's like nothing else in there. And so, and I liked it. Yeah, it, it had a really high upside. there um probably should just be attacking with nickel bolus but there's also just not really a big reason to so it's not something that you want like a lot of spark doubles in your deck but that first copy was really valuable Ow. Uh, question is what what decks are really powerful right now, and it's just normal ones, like they're you know, like um Esper, Kiro, Bant Midrange, 
Mono Red, Esper Control are not bad. Um, uh, the the four color command the dread horde and then also like Sultai command uh, very good the Sultai Nissa decks are are good I should have plus two and drawn two I thought I was fighting dragons when I was truly fighting ants maybe I should just. I should have just made a land of 3-3 with this Nicol Bolas also. Oh right, I could have just dealt four to them with that Bolas. Attacking first before flipping. Not too important whether they're at 10 or whether they're at 14. Not too important when we get to draw four cards a turn and make a 3-3 every turn. Just from our Planeswalkers. Silver Falls. The land fights for us. Silver Falls find me. Somebody to love. It's got to be game, right? That's game. Ooh, we're up to 98%. Things are just a jug of milk away. All we need is 2%. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, so it's been two days, and now this is the third day of some bad internet connection. After after the stream today, here I'll be resetting. I'll reset the internet, or just you know unplug it, plug it back in, kind of stuff. Reset the router and everything. I don't think you want Spark Double and Grixis Control because with Grixis Control you have you have a lot of targets that. Spark Double. Like, there's there's not very many targets for Spark Double to hit. I kind of want to save this for disinformation campaign, but it's not it's not good to save it. Okay, we'll get the other one. No, you get out of here. You don't have very many targets for Spark Double, so you don't want it. You want it in a deck like with the Ban Arc Bow, like where you ha where your deck's just filled with targets for it. Now the the YouTube upload doesn't have anything to do with it. This just happens whenever I whenever I am or I'm not uploading at different times. Uh, 
Ow. Nicol Bolas gets the loyalty counter. So Nicol Bolas just has the all the other abilities of the Planeswalker. So you can plus one Nicol Bolas to make a 3-3 three, three, like we did there. Or I could plus two the Nicol Bolas to draw two cards like the other Bolas. So yeah, it's it's still the ability. It's like it's basically like uh, Nicol Bolas Dragon God just has like just more text the on the card. Is. And so it, it's still the one that's activating the ability and everything. Oh, right, I don't get to draw an extra card with that Narset out, do I? I'm known for so my that was just three mana to make them discard a card. I've got it. It's not spectacular. Just all sorts of Planeswalkers. How do I deal with all of these? I mean, I just can't. Yeah, I just can't deal with all these. It's a good hand. Yeah, so the opponent should bounce Fibblethip there, not bounce the disinformation campaign. I was honestly surprised they bounced the campaign. It, it's only, it's just better in my hand than it is on the battlefield. Turns out it would have got bounced the next turn anyway, Let's but... Yeah, bouncing the Fibblethip does sound like a, a better thing to be doing. Yeah, I made I made a banned Arcbow deck today and no just threw it out there dragons. and it played really really well your end has arrived really liked it um Bethel freak I don't think it's really available anywhere Yeah, we have the Elder Spells in the sideboard. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Put thoughtfulness before action. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will hold. Hmm. So fourteen. Dispersal doesn't really you know, like they get to choose. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Discovery obviously does basically nothing with the Narset in play. Um, Don't worry, I got this. meditate and prepare. What's my shoe game like? Um. Ugh. I have, so like the, the shoes I've been wearing for the last like year or so are like these Express 
shoes. I actually just took them off. Who are you to call me? They I don't know, I like like the brown shoes. Um they weren't very like for they were kind of expensive but not really that good of quality. Like the the bottom sole like really wore out pretty quickly. I wasn't like super happy with them, but I like the color. I basically like brown shoes quite a bit. I like brown shoes, brown belt. So we got Contempt, more Elder Spells, a whole bunch of War Bosses. We'll have Duress. I don't, like, love Love Negate because of Lil Teferi. But let's give it a try. So this is 64. What are we cutting from here? Never mind, this is 62. So what are we cutting from here? Kefnet, um, could definitely see Kefnet being cut. Maybe one campaign with like the war bosses. No, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut a discovery in a campaign. A campaign's bad against Narset, but it's good against everything else in their deck. Like, if they don't have Narset in play, it's good. Because making them discard, uh, with them having a, a good amount of more expensive Planeswalkers and everything. I am wearing socks. I'm wearing shoes, socks. Um, but it's also, my feet just kind of get cold while I'm just, like, sitting uh, in the same place all the time, you know? Like, my, my feet will just kind of get cold, so sometimes I'll just have my shoes on. Um, sometimes I have slippers too. Sometimes I just wear slippers. It's a bunch of deafening clarions. Spell pierce is a little annoying. I'm not going to play the Discovery and just let them spell Pierce right there. I'll, I guess I'll just save it. They have just a ton of three mana Planeswalkers. Okay, they're not drawing them. This is where Nicol Bolas the Ravager is certainly good. Um, you know, don't have to worry about getting spell Pierce. It's real good against Clarion. I'm actually, a, I'm a little surprised they minus there. Oh, Kefnet's perfect. I have reached my limit. Because of the minusing, I get to just eat it, eat it with Bolas. I train everything. Home your prowess. Bethel the Free gifting out five subs to the channel. Always reveal. Thank you so much, Bethel. So 
So if you're one of the new subscribers, hope you enjoy I concede. the uh, all the emotes and everything. And that's going to put us up through our sub goal here, get us to 14 on the day out of 20 for our next sub goal there. Fourteen. Let's be greedy. It's hit this land. Love it. All right, Maskler, food's ready. Take care. I See you back afterwards. Dragon's rage. <laughs> Magnificent. Yep. Just have lethal there. All right. So game number three. We could certainly get war bossed ourselves. For lunch today, I had, like this morning, I had two pieces of bread with almond butter, and that filled me up for a while. And then I had um, a um, a microwave meal that was called like uh, it was a mighty greens with. Something like Marsala? Marsala Mighty Greens, maybe? It's kind of like a flavoring that's on Indian food. Um, but it was, you know, like a vegetarian thing that was really tasty and it was like a little, a bowl. Had just a ton of different stuff in it. Land. Casmina. Oh, I need the I need another black source for Bolas, but we'll find another black source, right? I think we should be able to find another black source here. What's Legion War Boss doing in the sideboard? Uh, attacking people. It's in it's in our deck in this matchup, of course. This is like a matchup for it. All these Planeswalker decks. I do not want my Nickel Bowls Dragon God countered, so let's kind of check out what's going on over here. Dovin's Veto. That's a good one. Again, they could just have a counter spell. I 
So if we next turn, if we draw a land, we get to Nickel Balls, Dragon God, plus Negate. Bleh. All right. Multiverse in my image. I should take out that little token. I have other plans. My intellect is without limit. Yeah, they had the spell pierce. But glad I shocked in. Didn't let that spell pierce hit me. Uh, war bosses are just really good with all the planeswalkers around. It's it's especially little to fairy. You know, like little Teferi minuses goes down to one loyalty. You play a war boss, you finish off the little Teferi. Feel the heat of my flip. Behold! Finish the Sarkin off. How could I have lost? Make them get rid of one of like these five lands or the war boss. My Keeping them on my as little land as possible. And they can, of course, finish off the Ugin by attacking with the war boss, which will block with ours. But I mean, we this game's over. So basically, instead of protecting. Yeah, I could have made a 2-2 to protect Ugin, but I'm I'm just going to whittle down their lands. Like, Ugin's... Even though Ugin's going to die here, they're going to be out of permanence very soon. And it doesn't matter that Ugin dies, because I have... I get to return Ugin also, remember, with, with this thing. Okay, I'm going to have Ugin again next turn. Don't have the resources to compete. I'm trying to say good game. There we go. I said good game. <clears throat> so game one looked like a laugher, but then we had a, whole, a huge sideboard for this matchup, as you could tell. Brought in just a ton of cards. GG's. Ah, your gate crasher. GG's. Yeah, you just didn't have the, the resources there. That's what Dragon God just That plus ability is so good. If you just if you can just trade and slam a Dragon God. Having to get rid of a resource every turn, that is just not not uh I mean that's just unbelievable. I, like these planeswalkers in War of the Spark are just awesome. Yeah, Arena's been really, really choppy for me the last three days. And then yesterday and today even more so. I'll try resetting here.
I'm going to reset my router after stream today. I don't want to do it like right now during the middle of the stream. But we did get to 10 subs earlier. So that means it's crack a pack time. Whenever we hit a sub goal, we'll crack a pack. We are but Ugin. In a vast hey. You just helped us win a game. Eugene. That's a nice one. All right, well, we're coming back here in ranked seven and one in our last eight ranked matches. We're coming back after a couple of rough, rough days. We are back up to 99%. <laughs> yeah, here a precinct one. I will have this extra token that I can sacrifice. That was your very first rare you pulled from War of the Spark was Ugin. That's a great one. Yeah, I'm liking the Ugin and the Grixis list too. I like it in there. Ah, same matchup. Gideon Blackblade? Is it possible I take the Spell Pierce? They play Gideon. I play Campaign. Or I just play Rampage and make them sack the Gideon. No. I take Gideon. That being kind of mana short. That just makes the, the spell pierce really good. I can try to play around spell pierce. Those are two good cards to have. Shouldn't have just played that land there. I was thinking just contempt that so then I have the mana to be able to pay for spell pierce for like the Sarkin and everything. <clears throat> that wasn't smart. Don't want to get my Nickel Bulls Dragon God spell pierced, or maybe I do. Maybe I just throw one out and just let it get spell pierced and just take the next and then just have the next one. But that was good. Drawing that land's good. There we go. So we can pay for one spell pierce. They gotta have some other kind of counter spell, or they gotta have two spell pierces. They don't have the legend anymore for the Mox Amber. So there we go. So we got game one, which is big. It 
It's definitely big. Um, maybe I should be keeping in one Cryo Kernel Room because of War Boss and Kasmina and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Zephyrs, you've been lucky today. Had to get the fire lizard? Okay, had to get to the fire lizard. So this is 63. What did we do last time? We cut like one discovery, one campaign, and well, duh, the moment of craving. So we did last time. Do that again. It worked last time, but I, I could see keeping in one sweeper, like, you know, Cry of the Carnarium. I guess a Ritual of Soot would be better because of Sarkin dragons. Spell Pierce. Guess I take the Spell Pierce, I guess. Maybe I should have taken the Narset. I assume they're going to go Teferi Time Waster, Bounce House Kanta, and then I go War Boss Kill, Teferi. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll protect you. And this is why War Boss is better than Thief. Right now. Boom. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, Gideon's basically just really good against control. It's not it's not really where you want to be against other decks too much, especially in like this kind of deck where you can't really protect it, but it is awesome against control. Keep an open mind. <clears throat> Let's definitely get overwhelming that out of here before we make them discard. Discarding a veto. Kefnet's been great. And just having like the one Kefnet over the fourth Nickel Bolas has been really good. Because you know, like before we were able to have like Bolas and Kefnet in play. Every day it's good to have them instead of just person. having all Boluses like where you can't have the other Legend in play. So this costs two mana. Plus two for Kasmina, but then minus two because of Kefnet. So went back to two. It's annoying. We'll just put it back in the library. Yeah, so we wouldn't have been able to discount the BB, but because the we actually get the discount bonus because of Kef or because of Kasmina. What's the logic behind playing land after first cast against you? I don't I don't really know what your question is. Hmm. This card is just a great If I graveyard it, though, I get to just slam Kefnet.
I think I want to just play Kefnet. That card is great, though. No sword can be behold. Speaking of great cards. Another Sarkin, Spyglass, and a Fibble Fib. If blue has mana leak, etc., what's the tactical advantage of playing a land after casting the first spell during your turn? There's there's not if they have mana up, there's not an advantage. If they're tapped out, it doesn't matter. Are my students are loyal and brilliant. Um A bunch of two twos. I kind of do wish I had the ritual of soot in. Yeah, I haven't played against the, one of the Command the Dreadhorde decks, but this isn't a fight you can win. I wouldn't be surprised if we stand a chance. Yeah, I mean, I, I would think you would stand a chance, but I just, you know, hadn't played against it. This might be a bad idea. to deal these two twos. Stop being laggy. So that's the Kefnet I know about. Yeah. Oh, there's only one Kefnet in this deck. Sorry, yesterday we played the Demir deck uh, where I had like multiple Kefnets and sometimes. It's only a matter of time. Warboss gets lets us protect the Nickel Bolas, which is awesome. And we turn the corner. There we go. Three and oh. 
with Grixis Control. We're back to having a number. What's up, Prugor? That was a that was a really good game. Yeah, agree. Opponent had some cool plays. We had the cool play there with the the bolus. Bounce their thing, draw a card. We're back in the numbers. GG's. Well, I like this deck too. I like our deck against that Jeskai deck. You know, so we're 2-0 against the Jeskai deck. And that Jeskai deck's really popular these days. I like our like how our matchup worked there. Kefnet was just awesome. We're on the draw here, huh? So as you can tell, this hand is perfect if we draw a land including blue mana. This hand's perfect. How how are we doing on blue mana in this deck? Sixteen. Sixteen blue sources. We're on the draw. If we don't draw it, we just automatically lose, though. So, losing is not good. Always had it. Always had it. They kept their card on top really quickly. Let's slow this down. That's more like it. Ah, uh, it was just another black source. Interesting. So we'll just make them will. exile stuff. I will return. Looks like they had another land in hand. Let your and of course, oh no, Othakaya. They want a deputy, the, the Bolas will be able to kill the deputy. I've got time. I have other schemes to attend to. I'm never going back to my own school. One's looking good. I will return one day. My scheme. I don't think I really even need a discovery. Our hand's pretty great. I think maybe just keeping this as dispersal could be better. Honestly. I've got it. Alright, so Esper midrange. Definitely need to be worried about uh, Thief here. I feel like Enter the God Eternals isn't as good in this matchup with like the token easily leaving, you know, whether it's if they still have deputy attention, but then like the Teferi is getting rid of the, the token and everything. I think I just want Enter the God Eternals out. And it's also expensive at five mana. So trade that for some earlier removal. 
I don't know about Elder Spell. Correct. It re it, yes, Narset's Reversal, you target some instant or sorcery, but then you return that instant or sorcery back to the... You copy it and return it back to the other person's hand. Um, don't know exactly when the next sub battle stream is. Right now we are still, I think, five, either four or five sub goals away from unlocking the next one. What's up, Tree Fitty? Thanks for that sub there. We got 40 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and play an Elder Spell over a campaign on the draw. Thanks for that reset there, Treefitty. Wait, these are all tap lands? I assumed one of those was a shock land. All buddy, no shock. They still have deputy attention in their deck. The past put thoughtfulness hmm. before Mars that stops my discovery. It's unfortunate. And finally. <laughs> Guild Gate Grixis. Grixis Gates. Three deputies in here. Dispersal is not very good right now. I can't draw the extra card with Discovery. Dispersal will just put the Narset back in their hand and let them reset the Narset, which is not good either. I need them to play something more expensive than Narset. schedule hurry all right they got me what's up Kurtash Just keep using them. All right, I'm going to take out Moment. Put in another Elder Spell. On the play, get another Campaign in. No, maybe not. Narset just shuts off Campaign, which is really annoying. But this should be fine. This looks good. Maybe one less cry of the Carnarium. For a dress. Alright, this time we get to be the person with the Thought Erasure on the play.
War boss is really strong against Narset, yes, but it's not really necessarily strong against their their deck in general. Well, that's a good a good hand. Um, I don't really want my Kefnet discarded, so I guess I'm I'm taking out Thought Erasure because that can get rid of my Kefnet. But the Teferi is going to be annoying. That's Kanta. It's a good one. I wish Cry was instant speed where I could, they try to despark my, oh no, that's CMC, not power. I was like, power four or greater. Well, that's gone for good. <clears throat> now I kind of wish they um, they took the cry of the Carnarium instead of the Discovery. Don't you want to do that after? I guess if they wait till after I draw, I could hit something that I get to copy. All right, Nickel Bolas. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. Spark. Never did it. Spark. Not nail it. The time planes walk witness a moat of my power. Perfect. Let me get rid of it. An erasure. I will have revenge for House Markov. That's a good one. Eh. It's an okay one. Existence. Yeah, here. My schemes have been foiled. I outsmarted you eons ago. Got rid of another thief, Sandy. <laughs> Do not defy me. Everything's going good for no us in this game. I cannot exploit. Yeah, I'll take Discovery. Dispersal is pretty sweet. <laughs> Was it worth it to plus two Bolas and then kill Sarkin? No. No, I like the, you know, so we could have plus two, you know, gotten two loyalty on, on the Nickel Bolas. But no, I think definitely making them exile things instead of just pinging them for one. Um, oh, I guess, oh, previously I could have plus two Soren, plus two to kill Soren, right, I understand what you're saying. I guess I didn't really consider that. Just drawing cards and making them exile a card, I just want to do that every turn, really. Just want to do that every turn. Yeah, this is the best that Grixis has run for us since War of the Spark, for sure. Yeah, I think, I think we are just finding the right mixture of cards, finally. <laughs> yeah, the, the ranks are kind of crazy. They go up and down by a couple hundred each one. If we lose, we'll go back down farther. 
you go up and down quite a bit. So I guess it's so four and zero. Oh, you know, usually we'd play five matches, but I guess we're gonna keep playing until we lose. I think. We'll see. Let's keep let's keep going. Mono Red Crisis is a mono red mid range deck. Uh, yep, right above you there, Poner. Uh, it's a mono red mid range deck that has Hydro Crisis in it as like a finisher. Has the eight red blue lands and the eight red green lands. Disinformation campaign is somewhat of a liability against Phoenix, like allowing them to discard Phoenix. And I don't want to enter the God Eternals, target them. Phoenixes though. So we'll target us. No, my Kefnet. Nickel Bolus is gonna say, You're gonna take four for me getting rid of my Kefnet. Hey, Percival. Hope you're having a good day, too. I am a god once again. My revenge will be paid. Right, getting rid of cards. Intellect is without limit. Crash through. Maybe I'm supposed to enter the God Eternal as my own creature to make it an 8 8 and have a two turn clock, but I don't know. Playing Dragon God, usually a strong move. Don't kill my dragon god. No. 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 At least they're top deck in. It's a good one to top deck. Alright, get that 4-4. Four, four. Alright, so I'm going to just pick up these campaigns. There's a Phoenix. Get out of here, Phoenix. All right, got game one. I definitely want Cry the Carnarium and Contempt. Um, I think I kind of like Duress, but I don't like Negate. 
and we'll cut campaign. Even though campaign was good for us, we're going to end up cutting it. And uh, maybe trim on discovery then. Maybe Ugin. So if we do if we do a bunch of trading, we're probably going to want Ugin. Ritual of Soot I don't need. Yeah, I don't need Ritual of Soot. That, that gets on out of here. So maybe I want this extra craving. Yeah, I can do another restart. Yeah, I, I understand that the the stream's been really bad the last two two and a half days. So um keep restarting, but I, I I think I need to restart the internet. I'm gonna do that after after the stream. You know, like this is our last league tonight, so I'll I'll restart the internet or you know, like reset the router and stuff. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to take out Ugin. Oh, maybe Enter the God Eternals was pretty good. They're gonna have planeswalkers though? Yeah, they probably will. Yeah, I'm gonna reset the whole internet. The whole internet. All of it. Just reset it. Down, down, down. Likely here comes a Phoenix. And I'll just cast Cry the Cranarium this next turn. By glass, what you want to name? Nicobolus, Dragon God. So we got. Uh, one spell right now for Bacon Bolt. I have practiced. I have just the trick for this. It's kind of surprising. Every single opponent that has played Narset against us has immediately minus two'd when we've had a four power creature that's going to kill it. Every single one has so far. Find it odd. This is just mind rot. All this is is just make them discard two cards. 
Like, do I want to play... Do I want this to be Mind Rot, or do I want to try to save it for later? I think I want to save it. See, so, you know, we can find a Duress or a Thought Erasure or something like that to <clears throat> help it out. Plus, the thing about playing Mind Rot is it does make their Bacon Bolt better. Kind of also. Yeah, Kefnet having five toughness is pretty clutch. Kefnet's just awesome. Their deck has so much velocity, it really does turn through it very well. Like, they just played a ton of cards the last turn, and they didn't actually use any cards. Like, they've, they've drawn one card each one of these turns, even though they've been playing a bunch of stuff, they've still gone up a card each turn the last three turns. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have that's why I have the one copy in it over the fourth Nickel Bowl Scavenger, so I can draw it. Uh, Moorland. This Kefnet's been just incredible for us. I'm so glad it's in our deck. Ditching a negate. Interesting. Interesting. The negate's their worst card. That would have been nice to have previously. We just would have made them sacrifice the Spyglass. You know, like if we could have just made a, a free copy with Kefnet. So basically, they got rid of the Kefnet at the right turn. And yeah, we haven't found any discard or anything, so. Uh, maybe not. No, it's possible two Kefnets are not too much. Certainly possible. So yeah, not really interested in returning to modern. I just I like arena a whole lot. Uh, that would be another good card to hit off of Kefnet and get in the free copy. I think maybe I should have sorcery speed made them sack this artifact. I don't know. We may not we may not actually draw the nickel bolus though. So much velocity. Thankfully no other phoenixes though. We've exiled two so far. But we don't have any more exile stuff. Good, no disdainful stroke. Good. Sarkin is just two dollars right now. Yeah, that card's like a four of and one of the best decks in the format. And it's a rare. And it's just just an awesome card. I no, I don't see modern coming to arena in the future. I don't think that'll ever happen. I 
How am I beating two beacon bolts? This takes out one of the beacon bolts. Yeah, I think they're going to do it. Yeah, they'll do an arena modern whenever there's rotation. I don't know what sets will be in it. You know, like they haven't determined that, you know, maybe Amoncat comes back, maybe Kaladesh block after that. You know, you know, maybe we get more sets like that. We don't know. All, all they said is that they they that there will be another format that allows you to use your cards that rotate out, so you don't have to give you confidence in uh, in cards that will be rotating. That's annoying. I wasn't really paying attention. Twenty four cards in library. I mill him another four. I mill them out. Yeah, Crackling Drake, Sahili. Good, those are the cards I wanted to see. Yeah. Obviously, I don't want to mill myself. I have the Kefnet coming up. So they have they have to have more negates, yeah, because like they used that negate earlier, so I was thinking they had to have more negates. They have yet another negate. Wow. Well, I guess I'm not dead. No, I guess I am dead. Or, no, not dead. I guess if they have nothing, I can win this. Because if they have nothing, they have to hold their Crackling Drake back to block this 4-4. Four -four. Or, well, or they Beacon Bolt the 4-4, four -four, but then I have the Kefnet to block the Crackling Drake. Okay, well that's that's not nothing. That's game. Cause then I draw Kefnet, they kill Kefnet. Dang. Alright, definitely want this other game. They're just holding a bunch of counter spells and stuff. I think I want to be campaigning. campaigns sixty one No, I'm going to take a negate back out. I 
Uh, in this matchup, Narset would be more better than Campaign, yes. Overall, no. I think it's... It's hard to... Like, when you're not playing any kind of creatures or anything, it's kind of hard to protect uh, Narset. If you're just, like, playing Narset as, like, your first thing. Or, like, playing Campaign. Like, Disinformation Campaign is something you don't have to worry about, like, protecting. And, yeah, Double Blue is hard to hit on Curve also, and... Campaign also disrupts the opponent, getting rid of get rid, getting rid of one of their cards while giving you a card. <laughs> Alright, gave them put another Phoenix in the graveyard there. For him. It's not the best sign for me that they discarded a coil. Hmm. We'll see if they have enough spells to bring back the Phoenix right now. Hopefully not. Yep, they do. Alright, so we're going to kind of start over here. Both my bolus, both my boluses should be dead. Um, but then we'll cry away the, the two Phoenixes and the Electromancer. Oh, no! Electromancer... Or yeah, they didn't. They didn't have one more spell for the Phoenix. You will wipe your bloodline. My schemes are never ending. Huh. That's a good one. My schemes have been foiled. So I wanted to keep Negate up in case of... That's another good one. <clears throat> in case of like a the red finale, or even if they would have just like gone like Charter Course, um... Or anything like that. Yeah, this is so laggy today. Thanks all for fighting through this with me. For your cause. My revenge will be painful. So I really, really want to save this until, like, the other phoenixes come back. As you can tell by how I've been playing. I 
I think I I honestly I don't know if the the problem is my internet so much as <clears throat> I think the problem may be my computer honestly. Crackling Drake War Boss. I think I need to purchase a new, a uh, new computer. Yeah, Grixis has been treating me really, really well today. Yeah, the band arc bow is up on YouTube right now. I am limitless. Death I like Crackling Drake over me. grabbing my other Dragon God because like the Crackling Drake blocks pretty well. Also, you know, attacks them, all that kind of stuff, and draws me a card. So if they if they get two spells, then. The bad news is my nickel bolts will be dead, but the good news is they'll have like nothing. Uh, they didn't get they didn't get that other spell, and we found a cry of the carnarium. I know what must be done. All right. Ugh. No, Monterey Crisis did pretty well. Uh, you know, 2 3. It, it played a, a ton of really close games, honestly. Um, it played a lot of really close games, a lot of good games. They could have gone other way. Yeah, that, that campaign was going hard, there, going hard there. So, yeah, I think right now for the thing next week, I'm probably either going to play the Ban Arc Bow or this Grixis Control, one of these two. Yeah, feeling good. Ten, yeah, five zero Grixis. I feel like we should play another one because we haven't lost yet. Got to play till we lose. Yeah, our opponent was really good. They played that really well too. Uh, my deck's kind of with all the cry of the Carnariums and everything. <clears throat> that's a a good matchup for me, but that was certainly hard fought. Nope, no Narsets. No Narsets. Um, you know, I like campaign more. It's kind of hard to have play campaign, campaign and Narset. And I think War Boss is better in like the post board games against other Planeswalker decks. All right, Storm. Have a good night. I have not tried Massacre Girl in this deck. Honestly, I haven't. I haven't I've never wanted it, but I haven't. Also, haven't tried it. Like Massacre Girl is better when you have like your own like one ones or something that can can get get rid of it or like can help help it sta start stacking like relying on your opponent to have one toughness creature is, is an ideal I, I definitely want both the lands this doesn't really matter which order I keep them in yeah it's sad they don't have bedevil and also sad for tyrant score and sad they don't have these in the foil or the 3d all right soul tie this is going to be a tough one out of the matchups we've faced, this is the one that I like the least. At least, I don't remember what our first deck that we played against was. Oh, I think it was, it wasn't a very good deck, but we played Jeskai Super Friends twice and Is It Phoenix. And I'd much rather be playing those decks as Grixis than Sultai here. This is not a match I want to face.
So we're going to kill both of those. Like, I'm assuming they're going to play their Vraska here. I'm also assuming they would have just gone to attacks. And so then I would have killed both of them. Still, but I guess they could have find and then find back two creatures and then replay like the the wild growth walker or whatever. Okay, they're gonna jade light. So basically I wanted to try to have Bolus, Nickel Bolus, Dragon God out in a in an open. Come this out in the open. And that's good enough, just a two one. A two one's not very much pressure. Let's start making them exile and also us drawing. We really don't need a minus and kill a 2-1. Ha <laughs> You have no yeah, got rid of the Vraska. I cannot exploit. Yes, yeah, definitely could be Command the Dread Horde. I've seen Sultai with and without it. Um I guess they definitely could have Nissa. Nissa's pretty popular in Sultai right now, and that would kill my Nicol Bolas, so that'd be really bad. I think you will find my notes helpful. Yep, they are Command the Dread Horde deck. Conceivable! My schemes are never ending. I have become too involved with my work. Yeah, I guess we just gotta hope they don't find Command the Dread Horde, I suppose. I, mean, I guess that's our best play here. Is them not draw Command the Dread Horde. <laughs> Hope to dodge. Yeah. Command is awesome in this matchup for sure. This is like a perfect Command the Dread Horde matchup. Do not defy me. Well, I'm glad they got rid of that card in hand. Because now we can just get rid of all their cards in hand. So even if they just drew command off of the Krasis, it's gone. No, they just had a bunch of lands. Oh, they just had three lands. Wow. I don't... How is... I don't know. But yeah, we're going to start trying to, you know, we are going to, like, try to kill creatures, like, the next turn and keep ticking up and try to start eating their lands and all that kind of stuff. All right, so negate. I mean, I guess we need, like, negate duress, especially negate for Command the Dread Horde. Take, a, take out Cry. I want Ritual. Yeah, 5-0 with Grixis. And this is, a, this is one of our worst matchups. And we got game one, so that's, that's good. Uh, our rank's in like the 500-somethings, like f maybe 598, something like that. I don't really, I don't remember too much. I think Enter the God Eternals may not be so great in this matchup. Let's go duresses also, actually. One dress. 498. Nice.
So it was a good looking hand. It was a good looking hand because we didn't have any lands. I think we'll be able to draw another land here. This is making me feel silly for taking out Cry the Carnarium. Fifth land, please. Fifth land, please. Land? Ugh. Ugh. Guess I shouldn't have ditched that other land. We didn't draw one. Till this land way back here. I guess I can just have Bolas kill that, I suppose. The land shall conquer you. But then Bolas will die. But then we'll draw a land for Ugin. Land? Come on. Come on, Bolas, give me that land. Alright, good enough. That'll do. Forgive me. Oh yeah, I guess I am 498. This is right down here. Nicobolis. They have not drawn very well. They really have not drawn well. Yeah, the last the last three days have been bad. Uh, yesterday and today have been the worst. So yeah, I'm gonna try resetting the internet after the stream. But yeah, sorry about sorry about it, y'all. we will prevail. Behold, nature's true power. I will return. That's a good one. Hmm. I have a few openings for more minions if you're interested. I am 
violence has consequence. You turned off low latency and then turned it back on. And that fixed it for you. Hmm. Maybe I, I could try that. My opponent top decked command. Yep. It... So we're going down to two here. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. How can I do like the last two points of damage? Ah, perish. The land fights for us. That's pretty great. I thought we were winning this. No! We're just a little too slow there. A little too slow. Just a little. All right, game three. Got to fight through another one of those. Um, our opponent just drew so bad like that whole game and that we couldn't quite end it. Well, that's that's rough because winning another, you know, getting in, in that kind of position again is going to be tough. No, I mean, they have, what, Nissa and Tamiyo? They have two Planeswalkers. As far as Elder Spell goes. Um, obviously, if I have a Planeswalker out and they have a Planeswalker, you know, Elder Spell is great of, like, you know, getting that extra loyalty, but I just want my cards to be a little bit more versatile. I mean, it's, it's obviously, Elder Spell is obviously not bad. And I don't, it's not a bad card. I just don't think I want it over anything else that I have in the deck. Jeez. That's, what a hand. <clears throat> Good hand. I'll take the card I can never beat and hope I can beat the others. I should be leaving that on top so fast. There's no possible reason to put this in the graveyard. But I sure hope they do. Mm. I need my Kefnet. Or my Nick my four mana nickel bolus. Need one of those there. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess because they only have the one blue source. It is an honor to meet you. Well, that makes sense. That just comes back and gets command right back. That makes sense. The past is never forgotten.
All right, so we need Kefnet or Nicobolus the Ravager. That was a great turn for us. Not only got rid of the Command the Dreadhorde, but we also got rid of two lands. And that was a great turn for them. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. Healing Grace in the Feather deck? That's... Yeah, that's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, I could see no Healing be Grace discarded. being pretty awesome. I like it. Seek and find. I do think this is probably the worst matchup for the Grixis deck. I would much rather play against Mono Red than play against this deck. This Sultai Command. I think that's our worst. I have I have no good draws right now. Basically. I'm nothing. I'm I'm dead. Yeah, they have Tamio in play, so we can't make him discard. They also have the like the negate also chilling over here. They should just be snap negating this. Which they do. Yeah, maybe you need Unmored Ego for for dread for command the dread horde. If I would have just duress Tamio the first time. I mean, I think we would have ended up where we were at the at the end of the game still, like, after take... I think we still would have... Whoops. Uh, wrong deck. I think we still would have ended up, like, where they, they drew that Tamiyo later on in the game and then played it and got their Command the Dreadhorde back. I think that's where we're still ending up. Yeah, you can find the deck list for the Arcbo deck here, and you can watch watch the games. Check it out on the YouTube channel. It's up there on the the YouTube channel. <clears throat> Alright, so that's Grixis Control. So we went 5-1, just playing that till we lost. Uh, really good showing. Really, really strong showing here for Grixis Control. Definitely the best we've done with Grixis so far. Um, I think I think that Soul Time matchup is is certainly bad. Um, but Besides that, uh, our deck felt really good, and we felt really good against like some of the other top decks of the format. You know, like, there's a lot of Jeskai control out there. There's Arc Light Phoenix. We felt really good against those those decks. Um, yeah, maybe we need like sideboard Unmoored Egos or something. But even if we like Unmoored Ego away Command the Dread Horde, they can still kill us. You know, with different things. You know, Hydroid Crisis drawing a bunch of cards. Nissa is just awesome. Tamio really good. So yeah, um, I don't know exactly what to do with that matchup. If you are, yeah, <laughs> so that's that's the tough matchup is Soltai, I think, with Grixis. Uh, if you are having success against Soltai, uh, if you're watching this later on on YouTube and you're having success against Soltai with Grixis, let me know uh, what you're doing uh, that's having some success in that matchup. Everything else, though, I'm I like this I like this deck for certainly against. You know, a lot of other things. Um, there's no way I would ever play Unmoored Ego in the main deck. And there's just not... It's Unmoored Ego is a pretty bad magic card. It's cost three mana, and it's... And it's card disadvantage. And when you're playing a... When you're playing a deck where you're going to be behind all the time, you can't just take the turn off and have complete card disadvantage. 
disinformation campaign is the opposite. It gains you an extra resource and removes a resource from the opponent. A Mortigo doesn't remove any resources from the opponent because even if they have the cards in hand, they get to just draw new ones. So it takes zero resources from the opponent, and it takes a resource from you and costs three mana. It's a pretty bad magic card. However, with that being said, it does have its it it does have its uses, as it can be, you know, um, it can be like a a I'm trying trying to think of a word. Um, I don't know. It can be just like a, a a really key. It can take a really key piece out of a deck. Um, that that relies on it very heavily and so you it is worth playing in the sideboard at times maybe like that could be like an arc like phoenix or if we've seen before like a nexus or a wilderness reclamation or like two formats ago teferi was so important to esper control at that point but it's definitely nothing you'd want in the main deck because it's really bad against almost everybody and it's and it's still bad against basically everyone so it can be, but it can be, yeah, it can be like a silver bullet card that takes out a specific matchup. Even in that one, Command the Dread Horde is so good that maybe you need it for Command the Dread Horde because that card is just unbeatable. So maybe you need it in that, that specific scenario there. Um, but I still don't want to. It's like a last resort. It's like if, if we can't, we can't beat Sultai any other way. But, I mean, I only just played against Sultai just the one time with this. So, we'll, you know, that's one match. Also, but it, it didn't feel too good. But <clears throat> we were really close to winning the match. We had game one. We won game one. And game two, we were very far ahead until they top decked Command the Dread Horde. So, like, we were, we were really close to winning the match without it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's just some talking. But, yeah, Griggs' control felt awesome. Definitely the best it's felt. I uh, really like the the uh, 75 that I have here. I think I really like this mixture of cards that we have. The Kefnet is awesome. That one Angrass Rampage did its job. Tyrant Scorn was good. The Moment of Craving was good. Then the having the Cries and the Ritual of Sets were awesome. Enter the God Eternals was good. Ugin's good. Basically, everything in here was good. Disinformation Campaign, really good. Um, it worked out really well. This list felt, felt pretty good. War Boss was good. So there we go. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and please hit that like button over there and hope you...